So restate your your father and mother statements again. Just restate um, them. Mother my said. My mother used to say every day that men use you. Men use you. And she only told me I was the sort of scapegoat. She right. didn't take other siblings. Um, okay, so my, men use women. My father said that women are useless. Women are useless. So I, I haven't had a lot of long-term relationships. Understandably. <laughs> Which I blame myself for. You don't need to. Yeah. No. Just, it's a law of attraction because of um, some unhealed emotions, obviously. Now let's look at the men use women emotion that was in your mum. Now, that is a very angry statement, isn't it? Well, my father dominated my mother in a violent way, not physically violent. Yeah. My, my mother was very Yes. Did things behind his back. Yes. Yep. So she learned to be deceitful is the only way to get what she wanted. She didn't leave him. She oh, learned. No. She learned that to being deceitful was the only way she could get what she wanted. There's a lot of emotional things being pushed on you about that. But let's just look at this one statement: the men use women statement. There's anger about that. That was in your mother. Right? So she has this deep rage towards men because men always use women. It's a multi-generational rage towards men. The only way you can actually release it is connect to your anger about it, that men use women. Right? Get, get, really get into that, like really express that. So you know, this is where baseball bat and boxing bag and everything is really yeah, handy. I can't quite trust men. That's quite You're not going to until you release this yeah. anger. You will never, while, while you have this belief in you, you will never trust a man. You have the most, must, the most trustworthy man in the universe will come along, want to have a relationship with you, you won't be able to trust him. While this emotion is inside of you. The only way to release it is there's a capping of it, of the anger or the rage towards men. Connect with that rage towards men. What, what Mary does sometimes is go out with a stick and belt some things outside and yell and scream and swear and so forth. Yeah, it had verbalise it, like really, I find if I start verbalising what's there, stuff comes out and I go, oh wow, you know. And I find a huge difference in her just connecting with the anger. After she connects with anger for an hour or two, she comes back like almost different person, right? So connect with your anger and your rage, but then underneath that is grief about being used as a woman. So allow yourself to connect to the grief about being used as a woman. Once that emotion leaves you, now you won't believe that in your heart anymore. The problem at the moment is you believe this in your heart, in your soul. This is a belief that exists within you. That you got from your mother. Right? Now let's look at on the father side. This is your father's reinforcement of this emotion. Right? Women are useless. So in other words, he would have sex, he'd basically rape your mother most nights, right? And then say women are useless. Now, how does that feel? Oh, it's so abusive. It is abusive. It's totally abusive. Right? So, what do you get from that? Men are abusers. Like, like, and also a feeling inside of you that your own father thinks you're useless. Yeah. There's also that emotion there. So, allow yourself to connect to that emotion. How do you feel about that? Well, of capping it, you might have some anger about that. Well, I've spent my whole life proving that I'm not useless. But, exactly. But I haven't really Exactly, because you have a belief that women are useless from men's perspective, yeah. inside of you. And the only way you are ever going to believe you're useful as a woman, from a man's perspective, is for you to release that emotion. Does that make sense? Now when you release that emotion, you'll no longer think that men think women are useless. So you will never attract a man again who thinks you're useless, and you'll also be released, and you'll feel quite relieved, you'll be released of this desire to prove you're useful. Yeah, which is very tiring. Which is tiring and exhausting and it's, and it's taking a lot of energy out of you at the moment. And I've attracted some men who feel that I'm just horrible and I, I don't know where that's come from, what I've done. So, um, so I guess that's... It's very much related to your father and how he viewed and treated women, yeah. right? So, so there's a, there are a lot of men with the injuries towards women of like, uh, we're going to just use them for sex because they don't connect to us emotionally, they don't care about us emotionally. Like, and the truth is, 
that your mum, before she even met your dad, had this emotion. Right? And the truth is, she never did connect to your dad. Right? The truth is, their whole relationship was based on the law of attraction, basically around those two beliefs. Right? And now those emotions have entered you. The key for you now is to release them emotionally so the truth can, be tr to, can enter you. At the moment, what's happening is that that emotion exists within you, no matter how much you intellectually try to work around it, it still exists within your heart. When you release it, which is releasing the anger about it and then the grief about it, when you release it, you'll actually say to you, you'll actually feel inside of yourself, hey, and you'll notice in your law of attraction that you'll start attracting a lot of men who don't use women. In fact, you'll start attracting a lot of men who actually want to help women. Yeah, that'd be amazing, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and then on the other side of things, when the women are useless thing, when you release that, you'll start feeling, hey, I'm not useless anymore. You actually feel it inside of you that you're not useless. And then you'll feel, why in the hell am I overworking for? Yeah. <laughs> like, you won't feel like overworking anymore and proving. Yeah, you won't feel like you have to prove yourself because you'll know that you're not useless even if you don't work at all. Yeah. Right? You'll, you'll still feel useful inside of yourself as a woman. Right? And you'll actually start attracting men who believe you're actually beautiful and useful. Even when I'm not working. Yeah. Even when you're not working. But you know, instead of instead of trying to get them to think you're beautiful and useful, you'll have men come up and feeling you're beautiful and useful, but you won't have to work at it anymore because it's automatically been released from your soul. There's still some other emotions though about sex and how you feel about yourself sexually because of both of your parents' emotions. So even once you heal those ones, does you still have to look at those on your own? Sexual based, yeah. Let's look at what's happening sexually, if we can, about your mum and dad too. Like every most times you heard them having sex, knowing that your mum's emotion was she didn't want it. Yeah. You could feel it, right? You could feel she didn't want it. Yeah. Yeah. So how did that make you feel with regard to sex act itself? Um, Why did your mum not want it? What's the feeling inside of you? Because my mother, my father, never asked how she felt or was never kind to her. No, there's a deeper reason why your mum didn't want to go with your feelings. It's related to these things. Remember, your mum's feelings about sex happened before she met your father. I think she was repulsed. So, yeah, so she's repulsed by sex. I mean, mum was 19, she died a couple of years ago, so it's like, So all of her life she's been repulsed by sex. Basically, that's that's the feeling I feel in her even now, right? Even though she's passed, so so she's been repulsed by sex. So what kind of a man is she going to attract with regard to sex? A man who treat who treats her in such a way that she finds sex repulsive. Yeah, yeah. That's what kind of man she's going to attract, and that's exactly what she attracted. A man who basically raped her every night. Of course, that's repulsive. Now, what's the emotion inside of you is sex is repulsive. So how do I release that? That's the question. We'll talk more about how to release it next time we get together. But how do I release sex is repulsive? That's a pretty hard emotion, isn't it? It's a pretty hard emotion, isn't it? So how do I release that? What I do is I lay down with a loving partner or even with myself initially I start masturbating, looking at myself in the mirror, you know, letting myself feel my sexual response, and all the shame that comes up, I go into it. I feel it. I feel the shame, the hot feelings of shame and dirty, all of those terrible feelings. I allow myself to feel it. And I keep doing that. So I do that every day. So I masturbate every day. Deal with that. Even look at porn if you need <coughs> to, to sort, sort it out. Do that every day until you no longer feel repulsed by your own body sexually and you can actually enjoy your own sexual response. Then you'll attract a loving relationship. Then go into that loving relationship and actually do the same but now with, with the person touching you. And allow yourself to feel all the feelings of a man being repulsed by you, you know, by your body and all those kind of, allow yourself to feel all those feelings in the process. Now that's going to require quite a loving man, 
and it's also going to require that you love yourself during that process. But don't be afraid of doing it because this sexual area of our life is such an important area of our life in terms of exercising desire. You don't want to run away from it, you want to run into it. So allow yourself to do that. Does that make sense? So you can see that Dad also had some things like women are sexually repulsive. Did he? Because oh, my mother was quite an attractive woman. Yeah, but your dad had some issues like the sort of the like the uh, what do they call it the the Madonna whore type uh, conundrum that he faced basically. You know, he had a sexual desire for a woman, but his own mother uh, tried to suppress the sexual desire that he had for women. Do you, do you follow me? So, he, so he's in this mode of you know, women are repulsive, but women, but I actually want them sexually. You know, and, and feel terrible about yourself in it. That's how he was, but. Uh, that's how he was in the relationship, but he actually felt that women are repulsive sexually mm -hmm. But he felt like he had to have sex with them because he still had a sexual desire mm -hmm. But you can see the So really there's really dark emotions going on between your parents Maybe I'm a new dad. Yeah, we well, feel all these things as a child yeah. all of those things Any tiny little bit of shame a parent feels any time emotion like this you feel you're going to feel it as a child. And it's going to carry on with you the rest of your life until you release it. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to spend a lot of time experimenting with sex. Firstly, with sex with yourself, right? So experimenting with that, working your way through all of those kind of issues. And then you'll attract a loving partnership and then work through the sex issue with your loving partner. 